Malaysia was colonized by the Portuguese and then the British before gaining independence on the 31 August 1955. Merdeka! 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 And on the 16th September 1963, the Malaysia Peninsula joined with Sabah and Sarawak. Then it all became Malaysia. Do you know the Jalur Gemilang? Our Malaysia flag. That's the color red, white, blue and yellow. Red and white stripes represent the 13 states and federal territories in Malaysia. Blue is the color for the unity of the people and yellow is the royal color of Malay rulers. Now, let's learn about our national monument, Tugu Negara. Tugu Negara is a sculpture that honor the soldiers and citizens that lost their lives for the freedom of Malaysia. Now this is Malaysia's national flower, Bunga Raya. The red petal symbolizes the courage, life and rapid growth of Malaysians. The Bunga Raya can also be found on the Malaysian ringgit. There are different colors too, white, orange, yellow and pink. This is our national animal, the Malayan tiger. This tiger is brave, strong, and it can swim too. We also call it Pak Belang, Uncle Stripes, because look at it, it is full of stripes. We have Malaysia's national bird here, the rhinoceros hornbill. It's one of the largest hornbills and has very strong neck muscles to support their heavy bills on the top of their beak. We can also find an image of the rhino hornbill at the back of our five ringgit. Now, let's talk about what do we celebrate in Malaysia. Malaysia is known for the multiracial society. We have Malays, Chinese, Indians, Peranakan, Eurasians, and Orang Asli. With many races in our country, we celebrate many special days too. There are many activities on Chinese New Year, like decorating the Doi Lian, giving ang pao's, visit families and friends, having meals, especially yi sang, a special dish only served during Chinese New Year. It has many vegetables and we would have to toss the shredded bits into the air using our chopsticks. After the whole month of Ramadan, a new moon is seen and it's time for Hari Raya Ideal Victory. Houses will be filled with Raya decorations. On the morning of Hari Raya, men perform prayers and children will seek forgiveness from their parents. Children will also be given Do It Raya. Hari Raya is all about catching up with the family where Raya traditional food is served and our tummies are happy too. Another big celebration in Malaysia is Dipavali. It's a festival of lights, so small clay lamps are lighted for the victory of good over evil. Just like Chinese New Year and Hari Raya, Dipavali is also a time for family reunions. Decorations such as colorful paper lanterns and kolam can also be seen everywhere when it's Dipavali. Wow, we have so many to celebrate about in Malaysia. Doesn't it make you proud to be Malaysian? Saya anak Malaysia. And that is all for today. See you next time. Bye.